Hello, Gemini, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the message for Gemini? What is the message for Gemini? Moon Lore. Oh, this is actually a good card. Ebb and Flow, number 23. Okay. This is about going with the flow, just letting things happen. On this card, she's sleeping. Around her, there's all these rabbits. So that's a good sign also. So it means just go with the flow at this time. Something is um, happening in the background that you don't know or see. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Okay, so again, something may not be working out the way you want at the moment, but just go with the flow. This is actually a really good sign, especially if you're like, something's not happening, it's not manifesting, it's not working. Take a nap, rest. What else does Gemini need to know at this time? Sunglasses. So somebody is spying on you. Self-indulgence. That's about focusing on yourself, self-worth, taking time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. And one more. Date. Okay, so meeting someone new, getting back out there, is planning and setting a date. Yeah, so it can be just the timing is not right with this person. Okay. Just focus on you in the meantime. Like I said, do something that makes you happy. Do a lot of things that make you happy. Just whatever's happening is happening, but someone is watching you already. And again, you could be meeting somebody new, or this is the person that you maybe feel like things aren't working out with. What is the overall energy for Gemini? What is the overall energy of this reading, please? Yep, Page of Swords, double confirmation, two different decks, a lot of spying. How this person feels, three of swords. We also have the King of Wands, so it could be a fire sign. This is what you don't see. It could be Sagittarius. So what's the potential outcome? Two of wands, a decision being made. Under the deck, there's a ten of wands. Someone feels very weighed down. Someone could even be feeling guilty about something, possibly. Sometimes I see the ten of wands that way. We'll see. What you don't see. There may be a specific, maybe a Sagittarius you don't see. We already have the king of wands there. Maybe... This might be a new person. Okay, hang on. Three of coins. King of swords. And the nine of wands. Okay. This could be definitely your energy. Uh, you may, though, have someone who's holding back, though. They may want to work things out with you or go out with you on a date, but they're definitely spying. So the main thing is here, you got definitely someone spying, maybe acting aloof. Not sure what to do next. So this is somebody you do know with this type of energy because... Nine of Wands is somebody who is not giving up on the situation, not giving up on you. But let's see, what is the Three of Swords? Nine of Coins, the Three of Swords again, and the Eight of Coins. So someone could just be working a lot. They could be sad. Usually this is their energy. So someone's feeling sad here. They're not moving forward. They're reminiscing about the past with the Nine of Coins. They think about the situation with, when they're at work. Um, who's the King of Wands then? Who's this King of Wands for Gemini? High Priestess, Page of Cups, and the Moon. So I get there's two people here. Ace of Coin is under here. I get there's a person here who you've had history with. It's been tough. Um, you guys may not be talking right now. They're definitely thinking about you. They don't want to give up on the situation. They want to work it out, but they just kind of don't know what to do anymore. They're not really sure what to do, how to work on it, how to fix it possibly. However, though, I feel like there's a third person or second person um, who's got their eye on you with a page of cups might be a Pisces I guess somebody who's really intrigued by you Gemini like really intrigued with the cards that, the way they're coming out high priestess they're tapped into their intuition they're also being kind of guided to you so this definitely could be you know a very strong soulmate connection the moon yeah they have deep they have a connection with you and they're feeling that they're feeling a draw to you they're feeling a draw that they maybe can't explain or understand so what you don't see is temperance Seven of Cups, the Nine of Coins, Four of Swords. Okay, so someone's just taking their time. Could be a Sagittarius, but someone is kind of waiting. Because this is wondering about something, just kind of doing their own thing, and not taking action. So this could be how they're viewing you. So if someone is wondering about you, wondering who you are, what you like, uh, what you're doing, if you're single. But they're And, and again, I think this is kind of the self-indulgence card, like taking care of you, taking a nap, because I got like taking a nap, because she's sleeping, resting more, relaxing, having more fun, doing things that you enjoy, going to the movies. Yeah, acceptance is telling me that everything is working out the way it needs to. I do get, again, you have two people involved in this reading that like you, 
but you are just to go with the flow and not really overthink anything or worry about anything. What is this two of wands? You may choose a new person. Seven of coins, the three of wands, and the ten of cups. Some of you in the month of July might meet a very special person. I think it's this person here because I think you're not quite ready to be in this union possibly or meet this person. You may be healing still because you're waiting. What's coming in is the Ten of Cups. I don't like to tell anyone what to do. The reading is pointing out Two of Wands. Choose a different person. Choose somebody new. You have somebody new that the universe is bringing to you, Gemini, as an, a new option. And it looks like it could be anywhere from now to July. Okay? You don't need to do anything. It's already in the works. It's already happening. The universe will bring this person to you. Maybe um, they they may be living, they may live around you. I think they see you in person. I don't get, well, you know, Seven of Cups, I don't know if any of you are dating online. Seven of Cups is my options card. So sometimes this represents online dating. But because I have Nine of Coins here, I just feel like this person sees you. So... That means, you know, in your neighborhood, at your job, uh, wherever you go, someplace like that. Uh, let me see if there's something about this person right here we can, we can know. Okay, they may be emotionally guarded or you might be emotionally guarded at this time. One of you isn't like letting down your walls. I'm seeing under the deck, it says, give it time. You also have passionate though. I feel like this person is very passionate about you. I think if it was too much too soon, it would scare you away. I feel like you're not quite ready for that. Uh, there may be some healing still from the past relationship. You're not maybe over that other person quite yet. Uh, one more please about this person. And they can be very supportive. Okay. I'm not getting anything else. I'm just waiting for something to come through. Let me see if there's something from the past person that they might want to say to you. Past person. They're saying, I wonder if you're happy without me. They're saying we will be together again. And they're saying, I love you. Wow. I replay our conversations over and over. So Gemini, I'm thinking by the month of July, you may have two people to choose from, a new person and a past person. See, it's not really, you know, it's it's showing you have two options here. And it's showing you could be in the Ten of Cups, you'd be very happy. You've been waiting for this and manifesting this. So I'm not really feeling anything. I feel like I just need to stop here. Have a great week, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.